right ladies and gentlemen nice to see you back and recently one girl had sent me a message in facebook that she saw a video on the 10th incarnation of lord vishnu which is uh, who we all know as kalki avatar who has not yet supposedly taken birth <laughs> but then the i saw the post which she had uh, sent me and in that uh, it was written that there was a man who was the self proclaimed 10th uh, avatar of vishnu so kaliyuga is full of such rogues thieves and liars so we need to go to the scriptures to understand what the facts are yes what the reality is so i will not be speaking anything of my own here i will directly quote references from the scriptures and from many 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 uh, scriptures from many different puranas and i will not quote all of them but i have given the references below so anybody who is interested can go and see them all right and primarily in this video i will speak from the shrimad bhagavatam the 12th canto uh, from there i'll be speaking uh, the second chapter it is entitled as the symptoms of kaliyuga so along with kalki avatar we will also see some symptoms of kaliyuga all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will show you who kalki avatar is all right so here you go and so i will not directly go to kalki avatar i will just uh, give the uh, background so bhagavatam as we know sukhdev goswami the son of vyasdev is speaking to parikshit maharaj who is the son no no he is the son of abhimanyu and the grandson of arjuna yes none other than arjuna who was the recipient of the bhagavad gita okay so <coughs> parikshit maharaj was cursed by a son of arishi to die in 7 days and because of that he decided to exclusively devote all his time to hearing the great pastimes of lord vishnu from sukhdev goswami himself so now sukhdev goswami is about to end the shrimad bhagavatam 12th canto is the last of the shrimad bhagavatam and this is the second chapter all right so the symptoms of kaliyuga this chapter relates that when the bad qualities of the age of kali will increase to an intolerable level the supreme personality of godhead will descend as kalki to destroy those who are fixed in irreligion after that a new satyuga will begin as the age of kali progresses all good qualities of men diminish and all impure qualities increase atheistic systems of so called religion become predominant replacing the codes of vedic law the kings become just like highway bandits <laughs> the people in general become dedicated to low occupations and all the social classes become just like shudras all cows become like goats and all spiritual hermitages become like materialistic homes and family ties extend no further than the immediate relationship of marriage which means <coughs> people will throw their parents out of their home <coughs> now when the age of kali has almost ended the supreme personality of godhead will incarnate he will appear in the village sambala in the home of the exalted brahmana vishnu yasa and will take the name kalki he will mount his horse devdatta and taking his sword in hand he will roam about the earth killing millions of bandits in the disguise of kings my god total slaughter this is then the signs of the next satyuga will begin to appear when the moon sun and the planet brihaspati simultaneously enter into one constellation and conjoin in the lunar mansion pushya satyuga will begin fantastic this is so what what it's saying sun moon and jupiter will enter the constellation of pushya where moon was transiting yesterday satyuga will begin in in the order of satya treta dwapara and kali the cycle of four ages rotates in the society of the living entities in the entire universe 
This chapter ends with a brief description of the future dynasties of sun and moon coming from Vaivasvatmano in the next Satyuga. Even now, two saintly Kshatriyas are living who at the end of this Kaliuga will reinitiate the pious dynasties of the sun god Vivaswan and moon god Chandra. One of the kings is Devapi, a brother of Maharaj Shantanu. Shantanu is the father of Bhishma Dev, we all know. And the other is Maru, a descendant of Ikshvaku. Ikshvaku is the dynasty of Lord Ram. They are winding their time incognito in a village named Kalapa. Alright, so Srimad Bhagavatam 12th Canto 2nd Chapter 1st Verse. Sukhdev Goswami said, Then, O King, religion, truthfulness, cleanliness, tolerance, mercy, duration of life, physical strength and memory will all diminish day by day. Because of the powerful influence of the age of Kali. Religion, truthfulness, cleanliness, tolerance, mercy, duration of life, physical strength, memory. Eight things will diminish. <laughs> it will diminish day by day. Next verse. Second verse. In Kali Yuga, wealth alone will be considered the sign of a man's good birth proper behavior and fine qualities. So if you have money, you have honey. <laughs> and law and justice will be applied only to, only on the basis of one's power. Yes, if you have power, you, you are above all the rules and regulations. The next shloka. Men and women will live together merely because of superficial attraction and success in business will depend on deceit. Fantastic, this is. Now, Womanliness and manliness will be judged according to one's expertise in sex. And a man will be known as a Brahmana just by his wearing a thread. Sounds like somebody. <laughs> Alright, a person's spiritual position will be ascertained merely according to external symbols. And on that same basis, People will change from one spiritual order to the next. A person's proprietary will be seriously questioned if he does not earn a good living. And one who is very clever at juggling words will be considered to be a learned scholar, intelligent. <laughs> next shloka is, a person will be judged unholy if he does not have money. And hypocrisy will be accepted as virtue. Hypocrisy will become the norm, that means. Marriage will ar be arranged simply by verbal agreement and a person will think he is fit to appear in public if he has merely taken a bath. Fantastic. <laughs> the next verse, sixth verse. A sacred place will be taken to consist of no more than a reservoir of water located at a distance and beauty will be thought to depend on one's hairstyle. <laughs> Filling the belly will become the goal of life and one who is audacious will, will be accepted as truthful. My God. He who can maintain a family will be regarded as an expert man. This is true, I guess. And the principles of religion will be observed only for the sake of reputation. The next shloka, seventh. As the earth continues... Oh, sorry. As the earth thus becomes crowded with a corrupt population... Whoever among any of the social classes shows himself to be the strongest will gain political power. Sounds like somebody. <laughs> Losing their wives and properties to such avaricious and merciless rulers who will behave no better than ordinary thieves, the citizens will flee to the mountains and forests. My goodness. Harassed by famine and Famine and excessive taxes, people will resort to eating roots, leaves, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers and seeds. My God, disgusting. Struck by drought, they will become completely ruined. So these are the predictions of Kali Yuga. The citizens will suffer greatly from cold, wind, heat, rain and snow. They will be further tormented by quarrels, hunger, thirst, disease and severe anxiety. The maximum duration of life for human beings in Kali Yuga will become 50 years. By the time 
the age of Kali ends, the bodies of all creatures will be greatly reduced in size. The religious principles of the followers of Varnashrama will be ruined. Religious principles will also be ruined, you see, <laughs> which is happening these days. The path of the Vedas will be completely forgotten in human society and so-called religion will be mostly atheistic. <laughs> The kings will mostly be thieves and the occupations of men will be stealing, lying and needless violence. And all the social classes will be reduced to the lowest level of Shudras. Cows will be like goats. Spiritual hermitage will be no different from mundane houses and family ties will extend no further than the immediate bonds of marriage. Most plants and herbs will be tiny and all trees will appear like dwarf summy trees. Clouds will be full of lightning, homes will be devoid of piety, and all human beings will become like asses. At that time, the Supreme Personality of Godhead will appear on the earth, acting with the power of pure spiritual goodness, he will rescue eternal religion. So this means Kalki Avatar only comes at the end of Kali Yuga, alright? So Kali Yuga's lifespan is 4,32,000 years. And it started when Lord Krishna left this planet 5,000 years back. So there's roughly 4,28,000 years, a bit less than that, remaining for the Kalki Avatar to appear, all right? So it's all this nonsense, bogus rascals who are posing as Kalki in the internet or in the TV, just bogus. Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the spiritual master of all moving and non-living beings. Non-moving living beings <laughs> and the supreme soul of all takes birth to protect the principles of religion and to revive his saintly devotees from the reactions of material world. As Lord Krishna says in the Gita. So see, this is how we read scriptures. Whenever we find something in the scriptures, some verse pertaining to one topic, we try to connect it to other verses. So, which verse from the Gita is similar to this? Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam sijamyaham paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya chidushkritam dharmasam sthapanarthaya sambhavam yuge yuge So these are the two verses where Lord Krishna says something very similar, yes? So now, the 18th verse, Lord Kalki will appear in the home of the most eminent Brahmana of Sambala village, the great soul Vishnu Yasa. So Vishnu Yasa is the father of Kalki and Sambala is the village where he is going to appear. And Vishnu Yasa is the most eminent Brahmana of that village, alright. The next verse, 19th and 20th says, Lord Kalki, the Lord of the universe, will mount his Swift horse, Devdatta. So he will be riding on a horse. What is the name of the horse? Devdatta is the name. And sword in hand, he will have a sword. And travel all over the earth exhibiting his eight mystic opulences and eight special qualities of Godhead. Displaying his unequaled effulgence and riding with great speed, he will kill by millions those thieves who had dared dress as kings. So he will slaughter everybody it seems. After all the imposter kings have been killed, the residents of the cities and towns will flee, will feel the breezes carrying the most sacred fragrance of the sandalwood paste and other decorations of Lord Vasudev and their minds will be thereby, uh, thereby become transcendentally pure. Their minds will thereby become transcendentally pure. So, it said that there will be a sandalwood fragrance which will permeate the entire uh, universe and by that let's see what happens the 22nd verse when lord vasudev the supreme personality of god appears in their hearts in his transcendental form of goodness the remaining citizens will abundantly repopulate the earth when the supreme lord has appeared on earth as kalki the maintainer of religion satya yoga will begin there you go and the human society will bring forth progeny in the mode of goodness. When the moon, sun and Brihaspati are together in the constellation Karkataka and all three enter simultaneously into the lunar mansion Pushya, at that exact moment, 
the age of Satya or Krita will begin. So Sun, Moon and Jupiter should be in Pushya which is obviously in Cancer. We all know that. 25th verse. Thus I have described all the kings past, present and future who belong to the dynasties of the Sun and the Moon. From your birth up to the coronation of King Nanda, 1150 years will pass. So, uh, this is a very long, it's very long here. <laughs> so, should I be reading it? Yes, why not? Why not read from the scriptures? Yes. So, basically, that's what. Um, is been explained here okay so the 27 28 verses of the seven stars forming the constellation of the seven sages pulaha and kratu are the first to rise in the night sky if a line running north and south were drawn through their midpoint whichever of the lunar mansions this line passes through is said to be the ruling asterism of the constellation for that time the seven sages will remain connected to that particular lunar mansion for 100 human years. Currently, during your lifetime, they are situated in the nakshatra called Magha, which comes in Leo. We all know that. Next, the Supreme Lord Vishnu is brilliant like the sun and he is known as Krishna. When he returned to the spiritual sky, Kali entered this world and people then began to take pleasure in sinful activities. As long as Lord Sri Krishna, the husband of the goddess of fortune, touched the earth with his lotus feet, Kali was powerless to subdue this planet. So Kaliraj could not enter till the time Lord Krishna was there in this planet. When the constellation of the seven sages is passing through the lunar mansion Magha, the age of Kali begins. It comprises 1200 years of the demigods. Fantastic it is. When the great sages of the Saptarishi constellation pass from Magha to Purvashada, Kali will have his full strength beginning from King Nanda and his dynasty. Those who scientifically understand the past declare that on the very day Lord Krishna departed from the spiritual world, the influence of Kali began. The influence of the age of Kali began. That means Kali started the day Lord Krishna had left. After the 1000 celestial years of Kali Yuga, the Satya Yuga will manifest again. At that time, the minds of people will become self-effulgent. Thus, I have described the royal dynasty of Manus as it is known on this earth. One can similarly study the history of the Vaishyas, Shudras and Brahmanas living in the various ages. These personalities who were great souls are now known only by their names. They exist only in accounts from the past and only their fame remains on the earth. Devapi, the brother of Maharaj Shantanu and Maru, the descendant of Ikshvaku, both possess great mystic strength and are living even now in the village of Kalapa. <laughs> Alright, so at the end of Kali Yuga, these two kings, having received instruction from uh, directly from the Supreme Personality of God at Vasudev, will return to human society and re-establish the eternal religion of man characterized by the divisions of Varna and Ashrama just as it was before. The, four, the cycle of four ages, Satya, Treta, Dwapara and Kali continues perpetually among living beings on this earth repeating the same general sequence of events. My dear King Parikshit, all these kings I have described as well as all other human beings come to this earth and stake their claims but unfortunately they all must give up this world and meet their destruction even though a person's body may now have the designation king in the end its name will be worms stool and ashes so it means that whoever you are your body will convert to three things worm stool ash what can a person who endures other living beings for the sake of his body know about his own self-interest since his activities are simply leading him to hell now it said the materialistic king thinks this unbounded earth was held by my predecessors and it is now under my sovereignty how can i arrange for it to remain in the hands of my sons grandsons and descendants this exact this is exactly what happened in the mahabharat we all know about the Dhrashtra, right Although the foolish accept the body made of earth, water and fire as me, 
uh, what is that shloka uh, yes i will tell that kam mano buddhire vacha that shloka where krishna says this yes five this, this five elements although the foolish accept the body made of earth water and fire as me and this earth as mine yes i me and mine in every case they have ultimately abandoned both their body and earth and the earth has and the earth and passed away into oblivion and the last shloka is my dear king parikshit all these kings who have tried to enjoy the earth by their strength were reduced by the force of time to nothing more than historical accounts so we become pages in wikipedia <laughs> all right so that is what is the truth about kalki avatar so whenever you uh, find somebody posing themselves as kalki send them the link to this uh, reference which is there in the 12th canto of the simad bhagavatam all right so that is the truth about kalki avatar and i will be pasting some more links also to this video so you can keep seeing them and enjoying and wait till kalki comes <laughs> all right so kalki is not coming now he is coming after long 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 time and the all the descriptions are there who will be his father what he he will be doing and w- what is the name of the horse that he will be riding how will he be looking everything is mentioned so you can watch this video or go to this link and see and whenever you see somebody posing as kalki <laughs> just have a good laugh all right so until next time if you are new then subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you see when the kalki avatar is coming okay wish you good luck bye bye see you